The next type of access control is administrative access control. Now, where physical access control physically stopped a subject from touching some hardware, administrative access control is basically a set of rules, a set of strategies determined to stop subjects from accessing objects they shouldn't be accessing, but also some of these may be after the fact to detect the fact that someone has accessed an object they're not supposed to. It all starts on the highest level from policies and procedures. The security policy is the upper management's statement of security. It basically sets the tone for everything that's done within an organization. Within the policies, we know we have guidelines and we have procedures. One specific area of a security policy that's important to security is the hiring practices policy. Hiring practices make sure that we select the right employees from the start. We select these employees by looking at background checks, looking at different criteria, and ensuring that these employees fit our profile of what we need. Also, it gives us an opportunity to inform the employees as to what our security policy actually says. You want to make sure when you go through the hiring practice that you do take a look or have your employees, your prospects, look at the security policy, let them read through it, make sure they understand it. There may be even a component of awareness training built into your hiring practices. So these are all interrelated. But within the hiring practices policies by themselves, you want to make sure that each new employee is aware and agrees to all the stipulations of your policy. That moves to the next section, which is security awareness training. Security awareness training may start even before an employee is hired. Then it continues on through the entire career of all of your employees. You want to make sure that every employee is aware and well-trained in all of the stipulations of your security policy. Then to make sure that everybody's doing the right thing, that's where monitoring comes in. Monitoring validates the compliance. It ensures that access is granted only in appropriate circumstances, and it also records inappropriate circumstances. It gives the auditors a chance to come back and say, you know, this particular object is being accessed inappropriately. We need to take action. And the two actions may be to deter a subject from further access and also to put in a new control. So monitoring is very important to make sure that all the other pieces are working correctly.